And welcome to the Atlantic City B. And we're coming to you live from the brand new WTTH 96.1 Atlantic City Beat Studios right here in the heart of Atlantic City. So new, we don't even have a touch banner up yet. And for those of you who are watching online, my guests have to stand up. They don't have chairs for my guests yet. We haven't gotten our furniture. But we're going to go ahead anyway, and we thank you for tuning in to the AtlanticCityBeat.com. My name is Raymond Tyler, and I'm here today. My first guest is Mr. Mark Tucker from Intelligent Energy Auditing, LLC. And if you've been a regular listener, you know Intelligent Energy Auditing is one of the sponsors of the Atlantic City Beat a radio show and also a proud sponsor of our website. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be with us today. No problem. No problem. Anytime. All right. So let's get right on to it. Um, I guess the first thing I want to do is you want to clear up the myth. You do not come around and knock on people's doors and ask them to change their electrical carrier. I do not. I do not. It's nothing wrong if that's what you choose to do, but this is not what energy auditing is all about. That's something completely different. That has to be regulation and something I don't get into, I don't discuss, but I don't solicit door to door for any particular company or any particular deal for energy. Okay, so what is it that you do through intelligent energy auditing? Uh, intelligent energy auditing is a home and home and commercial business energy auditing company. What we will do is come to the home or the business and do an eva what's called an evaluation, which we know is an audit. And we do just that. We'll look at several different parts of the business or the home and let you know where you're losing money through deficiencies in the home. Uh, whether your home is too leaky, you've got a lot of draft. If your home is, if it's a brand new home, is it built too tight where people just can't get rid of that cough? Or the air just seems so really dry. Maybe your home is too tight; it doesn't breathe. Homes need to breathe just like people, and we'll let you know that. We'll cover eight or eight or nine different places in the home that can potentially lose you money, and we can save you money. Okay, so give me an idea of something that I may be doing in my home. What's generally one thing that you see in a lot of homes that cost a lot of people money? Lighting is the biggest. Lighting. Uh, lighting, because. You don't cook 24 hours a day. You know, you know, you listen to the music or be on the computer 24 hours a day, but everybody has a light turned on somewhere at some time. And as you see on my flyers, the first line says, just changing a few light bulbs won't do it. The biggest thing I see is I go into a house and they've got CFLs or what we, people call the, the, the squiggly light bulbs all around the house. And they say, well, my, my bill is still $300 a month. It's that plus changing habits you know, modifying what you do in the home during the, during the, during your daily course of living, along with the, you know your utility bill. Sometimes you may do everything you can, and you're just on the wrong utility plan. Not changing your carrier, but you can if you're not home all day. Some companies will let you take an off-peak versus on-peak uh, plan, so you're not your bill is one way while you're not home, and then you get charged something else while you are home. So okay. you're not you're not paying for wasted energy for using a home essentially that you're not in. Okay, all right. And you are actually not just um, licensed to do energy auditing in New Jersey, but uh, across the United States? Yes, I, I went to BPI, Building Performance Institute, and okay. through, Clean, through Clean Edison. And BPI is all, it's pretty all over the country. So okay. uh, if I was to say, if I were gonna work in, I don't know, Wisconsin or South Carolina, I would obviously check to see what their local local home improvement laws would be, but yeah, by and large, my certification covers the whole, whole, whole of all the United States. Okay, now if a business owner, a um, someone who owns a apartment complex, um, or somebody who just owns their home or about to move into a new home, wants to contact you for an energy audit, what, um, how can they get in contact with you? They can call us directly at one of our two extensions, either 609 Two eight seven eight five seven four, or six zero nine two eight seven eighty nine nineteen, or they can go to our uh, my email at intelligent auditing two thousand eleven at gmail, and you know, leave a message on the board, 
and we check them. I check them several times a day. I, won't, I always have my phone on. I've had people call me at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, are you still open? Can you? I uh, can I see you? You know, first thing in the morning. Uh, and yeah, and we'll do that. We'll make those accommodations. So if somebody wants us, we'll be there. Okay. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to AtlanticCityBeat.com, also on the web at AtlanticCityBeat.com. This is 96.1 WTTH The Touch. I'm here with Mark Tucker from Intelligent Energy Auditing. Now, one thing I wanted to uh, wrap with you about before I let you get out of here, uh, also, a lot of people around the area since Hurricane Sandy are replacing um, different devices. And tell the people why they should call you before they go out and buy a new refrigerator, microwave, and coffee machine. Well, mostly because a lot of times something will happen in the home. You re need to replace an appliance. Insurance companies, by and large, will give you, they'll say, here, I'll give you this much money to replace this. And we just go out and get what's familiar, like keeping our favorite pair of comfortable jeans. Right. If you come and talk to me, we come out. We do we do free estimates like every every other contractor. We also educate. Uh, is the is it a good seasonal efficiency rating on it? Does your does the stove have? Is it an Energy Star rated stove, which means it saves you X amount of money? It's, it's rated to save approximately this much money, or it's built uh, it's built in a particular way that it's going to conserve energy. I get a lot of people with refrigerators that are pre. You know, like pre-2000, pre-95, they're not energy efficient. Uh, okay. so, you know, so whether it be stoves or like clock radios. So buying something on clearance might save you money in the short term, but not in the long term. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Give them your number one more time. Yes. Please. Intelligent Energy Auditing, LLC, at 287-8919 or 287-8574. And just about every live event that we do, uh, Mark Tucker and Intelligent Energy Auditing uh, come out as well, so you can meet him in, in person there. You can also go to our website. Uh, you're working on a video series called 101 Ways to Save Energy. 120 Ways to 120 go Green. 120 Ways to Go Green, and go we green. cover everything, not just you know light bulbs and you know, and uh, you know insulation, but we do. You know, I show how to make your own oven cleaner. You know, through you know, with you know regular household stuff, okay. nothing, nothing flammable or dangerous, but just regular green, green environmentally safe ways to do things around the home to save money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he is the official green technologist for the AtlanticCityBeat.com and also the Voice of Philadelphia.com, our premier websites. My name is Raymond Tyler. You're listening to 96.1 WTTH The Touch. One more time, Mr. Tucker, give them that uh, contact information That's right. if they want to go green. Okay, Mark Tucker at Intelligent Energy Auditing Systems, LLC. Uh, Intelligent Auditing 2011 at gmail.com, 609 2878574 or 609-287-8919. All right, well, he will be back again. He'll be a regular on our show from time to time. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to no come check us out. And if you didn't get that information, the information is posted at our website, AtlanticCityBeat.com. We'll be back with more Atlantic City Beat right after this.